Hi everybody, this is Chase again, and I'm finally back with a video on what is now a, a newer APH product. And it is part of the Braille Plus suite, which is the Braille Plus, the Braille Plus QWERTY docking station, and now this, which is the Refresher Braille 18. The Refresher Braille 18 is APH's 18 cell Bluetooth and USB Braille display. This display will work with the icon, the Braille Plus, JAWS for Windows on your PC, Windowwise, and if you have a a cell phone, it'll work with Mobile Speak and Talks. It also, as I said earlier, has Bluetooth and USB. As you can see, I have the USB cable plugged in right here. And I'll go into more detail about this in just a minute. I'll describe the Refresher Braille 18. It is about the size of the Braille Plus. I'll hold the Braille Plus right by the Refresher Braille 18, right above it, so you can see how close in size they are. And they're about the same weight. The Refresher Braille 18 has two layouts. The default layout, which is with the Braille cells furthest away from you, and the the alternate layout which is with the cells closest to you. There is a keystroke which I'll tell you in just a minute which will switch layouts. So providing that you have the Refresher Braille 18 in its regular position which is with the cells pointing away from you and the Braille keys towards you, you will feel, if you feel away from you, the 18 Braille cells. These are 8 dot Braille cells and they are very crisp and easy to read. Below this are your 18 cursor routing keys. For those of you not familiar with cursor routing keys, you can push the button under that specific cell because there's one cursor routing button under each cell. And this will move the cursor there. Also, if you're in a menu and you're trying to choose a menu choice, you simply push, you can push the cursor routing button under that menu choice and it will activate that choice. And I will probably end up describing that these different functions to you in future training videos. Below this you'll see three buttons. They are spaced a few inches apart. One on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right. The ones on the left and the right are the advanced bars, which you'll be familiar with if you use other Braille displays. And these are especially useful on Refresher Braille 18 because since it only has 18 cells, you will need to pan to see a full line. So if you're seeing 18 characters and you want to move to the next part of the line, just push the right button. The middle button is the auxiliary space button, which is similar to, which is the same kind of button as the advanced bars. And I'll describe why this button is necessary in just a moment. Below that are your six braille keys and your shift space and control. And as usual on a Braille display or a Perkins Brailler, from left to right these dots are dot three, dot two, dot one, dot four, dot five, and dot six. And as also normal, there is a small space between dot one and dot four. In between dot one and dot four, and a little bit below, there is a joystick. It sticks up just a little bit. And this is a five position joystick which can function in the place of arrow keys. So if you press the joystick up away from you, that'll be like pressing the up arrow. Down towards you would be down. To your left would be going to the left. And to the right would obviously be to the right. If you press down on the joystick like this, this will be select or enter on a Braille Plus or icon or phone, this would be like pressing the select button to activate a menu choice. And this would perform the same function that it would normally do. Below this, closest to you, you have your three more Braille buttons. On the left is Shift, which you use if you're typing in computer Braille on the Braille Plus, your space bar, and on the right, your control key. There is one thing that I'd like to mention about the control key or and all the Braille keys, and that is that 
they are straight all in a row that the, the, the shift space and controller are in a row and the six braille dots are in a row. They're not slanted and curved like they are on the Braille Plus. They're also much quieter, so if I would type my name, you'd just hear. That's much quieter and sounds more like a laptop than the keys on the Braille Plus, which sound like this. So if you're in a meeting or a classroom and you have the Refresher Braille 18 with you, this might be easier for other people that are not used to the sound of your Braille Plus to put up with. Now, if we look on the side of the Refresher Braille 18 that is facing you, you see a oval shaped button with an indentation in the middle. It's about an inch wide, and I'll, if you hold this button when the unit is off, it'll turn on, and when you hold this button when the unit is on, it'll turn off. There's one final feature of the Refresher Braille 18 I'd like to describe to you. I'm now tipping the Refresher Braille 18 on its side, and on the left side, on the back, the back of the left side, I mean, is the where the USB cable plugs in. Now, this is a very tight fit, and I would suggest if you're going to normally be using this over USB, you should probably leave the cable in there because it is a very tight fit and can be hard to get in there. I'll go ahead and turn the refresher Braille 18 on now. Now, notice that. It is not connected to my Braille Plus or to a computer or to any other device. I'm simply just going to show you the Refresher Braille 18 when it's not connected to anything. So I'll hold down the power button. And the cells vibrate. And this means it is on. Now it says APH and your serial number. However, you can change this name, which is what I've done. And I changed it to my name. You can change any character except the first APH and the space, which is the first four cells. So mine says APH and then space, then Chase Crispin. Once you're done, to, to change a, the name of your rail display, you simply would press, which I'll do, you press the cursor adding button under the cell you want to change, and you see a blinking cursor. And I'll just go up with the joystick and I have D because it was already on C, E, I'll go back down to C. And you can do this to as many cells as you want. When you're done, you'll press the first two and the last two cursor adding buttons together. And press it again. And now it shows your new display name. If I press the right advance bar, you'll get to battery status and it says battery space STAT and a colon an opening bracket and then one two or three full cells three full cells mean your battery is completely charged two full cells means your battery is about halfway charged and one full cell means your refresher braille 18 will be needed to charge soon as you can see on the camera my refresher braille 18 is mostly charged with three bars then you see the closing bracket. If you, if you only had two or one, the cells where these would normally be would be empty. I'll go to the right again. And you have standby time. So you have standby, space, time, a colon, the minus sign, 10, and then M for minutes, and then the plus sign. This is saying how long you wish your Fresh Braille 18 to sit there with no activity before the display clears and it goes blank. It'll still be on, but not using as much power. Now, if you're wondering what the minus sign and the plus sign is, that's to change the time. So if I press the cursor routing button under the minus sign, now we see nine minutes. If I press plus, you move back to 10, which is the default. Now, there's quite a range of times. So if you ever refresh your Braille 18 and you'd like to change the standby time, I would suggest you going through these choices on your own.